Okay, this uh, next uh, this next solar panel or solar heater that I'm going to build is going to have a small um, a little electric solar panel on it to provide the electricity for the fan as well. I'm building it out of some one by threes. I'm just using some drywall nails to build it, and um, essentially what you see right here is what you get. But I'll do the kind of the step by steps also. Okay, so now I have a small rectangular uh, one by three frame. So the idea here, I'm um, going forward, and I'll kind of show you as I move along, is to put the solar panel right in here at an angle, up like that, and I have this little um, this little wood base in here on the other side of it to kind of hold it up where it needs to go, right in here. I'm going to attach that right there. And then these little baking pans, which I found to be very incredible, inexpensive. Um, I'm going to put it and attach it right here um, in the frame like so. And I'm going to put the little one inside this, the large one. Um, mount it right there. Cut a hole in the top. Put this fan in. I'm considering it inside, but I may go outside as well. The uh, solar wire will run the fan anytime it's hot or anytime there's sun. It'll heat up the heating elements here, and the solar panel will push the fan. So, pretty simple. On the back side of this, I'm going to use plywood, and on the front, I'm going to use my classic, like cheap, uh, inexpensive Visqueen plastic. Put it in the window, it's ready to go. There's a good chance that I might uh, paint this frame down here black, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, another key thing here is airflow. You're going to get air underneath, around the side of, and everything else in the on these pans. So, what I like to do is go ahead and uh, cut a hole in the pans. So. Um, essentially what I like to do also is of course you want to remove it from the frame so you're not accidentally going through the frame um, as well too but um, whenever possible I like to drill through more than one um, more than one piece of metal so I'd hit both of those I go all the way around several times very liberal about it about drilling the hole in the pants because that's going to help create airflow as well and um, I will do that and I'll come back and show you the results of how it looks essentially. Okay, now essentially, uh, I think this is like a 3 16th inch drill bit. Anyway, took and I made Swiss cheese of this um, and uh, I was very careful to also um, put extra um, holes in the bottom of the small pan. So the airflow would be able to get up into the uh, the discharge, if you will, area. Also, so now what I'm going to do next is take some screws and, and assemb lightly assemble this because there's still a back to put on. Keep in mind. Okay, now I've, I've tacked some screws in here. Um, really, these are kind of temporary for the moment. I'll explain why a little later. Um, just short, um, one half inch. Um, I got tech screws in this case, but uh, you can use just about anything that same size, I would imagine. Um, or self tappers that go through the metal real quick. And uh, so I put this in position so that I could determine exactly where my um, where my where my solar collector is going to go. And really, I want to put this in on an angle so that it catches the sun better, even though it'll be sitting in the window. I believe the pitch, the angle, is important as well too. So I'm going to set that. Essentially what I'm going to do right here is set this bracket, um, wooden bracket. It's the same size as the length or the widths of the other two that on each end. And I'm going to set that in place um, just by essentially getting this where I want it to be and then nailing it in place. And then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so now I have uh, put the... Uh, the bracket in place here um, right there I essentially put it where I wanted it marked it out 
I wanted some airspace at the bottom. Anyway, the bracket or the board right there is just to hold the panel in place once the uh, once the unit is complete. And this this is a little five watt high efficiency um, solar panel that I believe will will do the trick. So that's uh, pretty cost effective as well. So right now I am going to essentially cut out a piece of plywood for the back and attach it, go back around and caulk all these seams where the, where the plywood will hit it, where the plywood will hit it so that it's completely sealed off in the back side. Of course I'll have to take these screws out. The little pan fell out a minute ago while I was attaching the bracket but no problem there. Um, so yeah that's the next step. I'm going to put the plywood on the back. Okay so now I flipped it over, took out some of the stuff and um, I, just for your reference as well, I bent this backwards so that it's left open so the solar panel fits in there better, the electric solar panel. Made a piece of plywood for it and it's going to go flush all the way around. I'm going to leave it a little gap at the bottom, that's where the air, the uh, fresh air flow is going to go into. The past I've cut little holes and stuff, I feel like it's going to do a little better just by kind of spreading the air across the whole unit and uh, so the next step is going to be attaching this and then going back to uh, to make the air the uh, the hole for the uh, the little blower motor that I have and incidentally if you don't know it's a 12 volt it looks like it's a kind of lower powered unit but it should suffice for what we're doing and I believe I got it upside down okay so now what we have here is I've cut the plywood to size. I've intentionally left the uh, the bottom open for airflow, cold air in, and uh, hot air out will come out the top. I'm going to make a hole here uh, for the blower. Now keep in mind that the blower is a 12 volt, 12 volt blower, and um, I think it's 0.15 amps. So not real super powerful, but enough powerful enough, I believe, for this. Um, for this model and then of course we'll, we'll put the innards back in it when we get it assembled and whatnot but right now the goal is to cut the hole for the fan or attach the plywood and cut the hole for the fan okay now I just cut the hole for the fan I'm still not sure if I'm going to place it on the outside of the unit or on the inside of the unit my only concern with it being on the inside is you can never get to the wires if they short out and also, there's going to be a lot of heat in there, so wires and heat necessarily isn't a good idea per se. So I'm still determining that what you know what's the best fit. I'd like to, I really like to enclose it all so it's one enclosed unit, but uh, I'm still thinking about that one. Okay, so now I put the aluminum um, in in the uh, in the area where it goes, at least the the large piece. So of course now I'm going to take and uh, make sure it's in there right where it goes and then it's snug and I'm going to go ahead and mark out mark out the hole so that I can go back with a pair of tin snips or even scissors probably would work for something like this and, uh, and go ahead and cut the hole out and then what I'll do is after I get that hole I'll put the small Okay, um, essentially what I have done now is I cut, I marked out holes in both of the pans and I used a utility knife, this thing, to cut out, to cut the holes and uh, so I've got some nice holes there. I'm still determining if the fan's going to go on the inside or out. Okay, so now the next step um, was to go ahead and caulk the inside at the seams. Um, as best as I could, especially at the top is what matters. You want to keep all the heat encapsulated in this unit until it's time for it to leave um, the exiting point right there. So I'll caulk around there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the aluminum pans in place and screw them in uh, where they go. Okay, um, essentially what I decided to do with the solar um, panel is to go ahead and anchor it with screws. It's essentially, they're resting on that. Um, 
and down here it's holding it in um, good just barely probably right there um, it's not going to be a whole lot of movement with this thing overall so I'm not real concerned about it um, could probably do some type of better bracketing system I'd imagine but for now that's what we're doing I've decided to go ahead and run the wiring on the outside so I fished it through here and I'm going to go ahead and flip this around attach the fan to the to the front side of the unit or with the back side the, the side facing away from the window uh, because this is after all a window heater and then we'll go from there okay I've attached this little fan with uh, four drywall screws and um, we use the red and black wire the yellow is not necessary for what we're doing and uh, it's, I'm sure it's necessary for some type of computer application this is a computer fan and uh, here's a look again at the front of it and uh, so what we're going to do next is go ahead and put the plastic on this what you want to do is before you put plastic on it you want to put a bead of caulk all around this edge as much as you can to allow the you know the plastic to seal it off real nice from the inside okay now so what I've got here is I caulked the entire edge with clear caulk it looks white but it's actually dries clear and uh, so it goes all the way around the perimeter and then I attach the piece of plastic to one side and so what I do is I go ahead and wrap that around and then I make sure it's nice and tight and attach it all the way around but of course you gotta caulk it first so I'd like to get my plastic uh, attached to one side and in place it makes everything easier less messy um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a quick uh, break and, and go ahead and attach that okay so I went ahead and sealed the plastic on there there's a little ripples that plastic plastics pretty old um, I'm gonna make sure you got a pretty good mill strength on that but you know you don't need too much since it's inside the house for something like this anyway so I just went ahead and duct taped the plastic my goal is to let it dry for a day or so the caulk that is let the caulk dry and then I'll go around and I'll just trim the plastic off right at the edge remove all the duct tape and then what I would like to do is spray paint this board as well as the face of it too since that will be facing inside the house so it'll look nice and I will do that tomorrow it'll be ready to stand up and use most likely the day after um, tomorrow what I did to prepare these pans ahead of time is I, I spray painted them ahead of time because the emissions since all that heat is flowing through there is quite high I've noticed that if I spray paint them and then stand them up and use them or a day or two later what ends up happening is it stings up the house pretty bad so you want a few days you want to paint these let them dry for a few days before you start using them the outside I'm not as concerned about because it won't probably won't get as hot um, on the outside although there will be some heat generated from the black side right here of course so I'm going to uh, go ahead and check back in one more or one or two more times with uh, the painted unit as well as maybe it uh, operating as well that's it okay um, you know the unit's not painted or anything yet I just stuck it here in my side door there's a little bit of sunlight really good airflow coming through with the solar electrical solar panel driving that thing so um, I don't know been running for a bit I think we almost got too much air circulation through it because it, it warms up a bit um, but I'm like in the 80 degree range um, so but I'm sure that uh, uh, that it should do the trick so I'm just going to continue to monitor it if I have to I'll, I'll close off some of this hole just to make it draw a little less there goes cutting down because of the cloud it's clouding up it's actually um, going on 80 on this thing and uh, it's only been in the window for a couple of minutes I'm holding it up manually um, in our sliding glass door here I mean the uh, screen door on the side of our house um, anyway that's about it just wanted to uh, do a quick test to make sure that that solar panel is actually going to um, power this motor and it looks like it's doing really good